Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today in this tutorial, we are going to see how can we set up S3 bucket in AWS cloud. Yes, friend, we will learn in this tutorial what is S3 bucket, how can we set it up, how to upload and download file to S3 bucket, what is the use case of S3 bucket. So all of that we are going to cover in this tutorial. So stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end. It is going to be very, very exciting and very informative tutorial today. Okay friends, so without wasting any more time, let's directly jump to create S3 bucket. You have to log in into your AWS management console. I have logged in with my credentials. You have to log in with your credentials and on the home screen, you may see option of S3 bucket. If you, if you're not able to see that, then you can search S3 in a search box and click on S3. So that will take you to the S3 home page, right? So this is the home page of our S3 service. That is S3 bucket. On the left hand side, you would see certain options, buckets, access grant and so on, right? So click on the bucket to see if there is any buckets, right? So right now I don't have any bucket. Now we will see how can we create a bucket here. So there is a button given here to create bucket. Let's do that. Click on this create bucket button before creating a bucket you can select which region you want to create what is the use case of the bucket who are the users of this bucket so you can decide a region and then create the resources accordingly so once you are on general configuration page you can select this configuration that's a bucket type general purpose or directory that you can decide i am giving code one digest demo bucket just provide a name you can select the setting otherwise you can leave it to default ACL disable right now this is a configuration for public access here it is blocking all the public access and then you can enable individual access that you want to but right now all public access are blocked so what I'll do is I'll uncheck this so that my bucket is accessible without any credentials publicly but this is not recommended this is just for demo what you can do is you can uncheck this and then select the configuration to block the access accordingly you can choose to block all the access accept the access that you want right let's say I will block all this access and I'll say okay my bucket will be access publicly access and object granted through any ACL account so like this, then my bucket will be accessible through access control list. But right now I am allowing all the access because this is just a demo bucket, right? And then do you want versioning on this bucket that you can decide that uh, uh, the content of this bucket will be version accordingly and so on, right? Default encryption. If you want encryption, you can select the encryption setting. I am keeping everything to default. I'm keeping all this configuration default. I'm creating a bucket with a default configuration. Click on this create button to create a bucket. Okay. As I'm allowing the public access to my bucket. So I have to acknowledge that I understand the risk Then create. So you see this bucket is created, right? Okay friends, so bucket is created. Now let's see some of the detail of this bucket. Let's go inside and go to the property tab. So here you can see the region where the bucket is created, US East. This is the ARN of your bucket. So this we can use in any other AWS service if you want to interact with this bucket. So this ARN will be required and this is a creation date, right? And these are the other configuration like bucket versioning is enabled or disabled, tag, encryption setting and so on. There are other tabs also available like permissions. So what all permissions are available? It is saying that we have blocked all the public access. No, so it is off. We have not blocked the public access. Hence, this bucket will be accessible. Matrix, uh, matrix will tell us the usage of this bucket once we start using it 
management will have a configuration regarding the replication rule life cycle rule etc if you want to replicate the content to some other bucket or some other place so all that configuration will be here access point is important yeah so access point is to create access for this bucket so all of this we'll see in detail in the upcoming videos okay friends i don't have any folder here if you want you can create a folder inside that bucket my test folder right you want encryption i'll just say create folder so a folder will be created and now in this folder i can try uploading a file friends before we proceed in this video i request you to subscribe this channel to grow code one digest family friends i am creating a lot of quality videos on programming and coding concepts design pattern and design principles cloud and container technologies but i am not getting subscribers i request you to like share and subscribe this channel so that i can grow our code one digest family thank you as we have created a folder in s3 bucket i'll try to upload a file and then we'll try to access that file okay so this is a test file i have created a text file it just have a dummy content i'll just pick this and we can do a drag and drop to upload the file right so this file is uploaded select that to upload it yep the file is uploaded you see the file is uploaded succeed and then close so this is the file that is uploaded you have you can see the details last modified and if you want to download this file you can select that and say download the file it will download the file for you yes say download it will download in your download folder that you can validate opening that file yes so the file is successfully uploaded and we have successfully downloaded so it's very simple and very easy to create s3 bucket and to access the s3 bucket s3 bucket provide you storing the unstructured data like image files mp3 files or video files audio files or in case of excel data in case of word document in text files hence s3 is the right candidate right service for it i hope this is clear to you guys this is very easy a very useful service in aws cloud that we use to store our unstructured data or any media files like audio or video files or image files and so on right friends so if you like this video to give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel so do subscribe to my channel to grow code one digest family In next video we will learn how can we create a user access for this bucket we will make this bucket as a private bucket we'll block all the public access and then we'll access it through access key and access secret okay friends so stay tuned and keep watching code one digest friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family please subscribe to code one digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos thank you